Welcome back to 1320 Videos Rocky Mountain Race Week. We're here for day one in Kearney, Nebraska. This year's a little bit different because we've only got three tracks to work with. So we're gonna start here in Kearney. Tomorrow's a drive day, then we're gonna be at Vandermeer. And we got two days in Pueblo, another drive day, and back here in Kearney. All the racers behind me, over 200 racers have to drive over a thousand miles this week without it being on a trailer. They're actually hauling trailers behind them. This is an endurance race. We're gonna check out some of the new cars that showed up here. If you guys have been with us for Rocky Mountain Race Week, there's a lot of new cars here this year. So we're gonna check some of those out and then we're gonna hit the racetrack. Phil in the ZR1 is a freaking badass. He literally raced in Oklahoma at King of the Open Road, drove straight to Alaska, raced in their speed week, and then came straight here for Rocky Mountain Race Week. Three in a row, but look how dirty this thing is. It's ridiculous. Thousands of miles of bugs on the front. The wheels are disgusting. He's not gonna clean it until he gets back home. We have a little surprise for him right here. We'll, we'll give him some 1320 Street Shine bug remover. This is the best we'll ever use. It'll be perfect for the front end. This car is covered in bugs. frowned upon to drive a zero one down a dirt road but it's probably right. cleaning it at this point right i did a whole bunch of them in uh in alaska on the alcan oh half I that bet. highway is dirt gravel yeah, <laughs> yeah me and chris have, have videos of it oh my god it's hot today yeah i want to get the abbreviated story of what you did keep okay. it short for the video but yeah. um so you guys so you personally mm -hmm. where do you live I live in Houston. Houston. So yeah. you went to Oklahoma for? I went to Oklahoma for Canada Open Road. Yeah. Well, how many miles was that? Uh, probably 500-ish from Houston to Oklahoma City, 550. And then I think the cruise was 200. All right. And then picked up Chris, and then we did here to Alaska, or from Tulsa to Alaska. And How many from, miles is that? From Tulsa to Alaska back to Denver as of yesterday was 87 and some change. Oh, my God. Yeah. 8,000? Yeah, that's not including the Houston drive, not including Canada Open yeah. So you're up to about 10,000 miles on this. Thing. Yeah, I've done three oil changes so far this month. Uh, what? Yeah, my tires are toast. They're Holy! No, nope. when I left Houston, they're toast. And not only that, you're hauling the trailer hauling too. Hauling the trailer. Yep. Yeah. That's that went sweet. The whole way. This has to be the world's dirtiest ZR1. Oh, yeah. I I can't imagine any ZR1's ever been dirtier <laughs> than this. Yeah. What's your favorite part about how dirty this car is? The front end. The front end. The, okay. All the bugs. 20 pounds of mosquitoes. Yeah. Probably. Hold on a second. I got something for you. Perfect. You got some of this last year. Yes, sir. You tested it out, right? Oh, yeah, it's great. You're not going to wash until you get back home. I'm not going to wash until I get back home. So okay. it's going to be maximum dirty. Well, about half that bottle should take off all the bugs, Hell I think. Yeah. Appreciate <laughs> it. Yeah. This stuff works great. So, yeah. Right here, we got this K10. He skipped the water box. So that can only mean that this thing is going to launch in 4x4 mode. Now, this truck might not look like a lot, but I assure you, it's faster than it looks. for the truck. Always really cool to see a big truck running fast. This year on Rocky Mountain Race Week, we have five GTRs here. The Hello Kitty GTR here has been a best of an 8.0 so far, but she has a turn down for a 9.0 for the 9.0 class. The new NHRA rules allow newer cars to run 9.0 without a cage. There is a 150 mile an hour cap at a mile an hour, but you can run a street car with no cage to 9.0, so that's the reason she's running this class. Listen to how quiet this car is. It's in the street tram right now.
Tom and Blaine out here with a new car. Different car. You went from nitrous to turbo. Yeah, we got we're nitrous guys with twins now with, no, 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 with air to water or whatever that is, right? <laughs> We have no idea what we're doing. But this car is still stick shift, right? Oh, okay, of course. Yeah. That's why I love yeah, it here. Still stick shift, man. Yeah. 408, twin 64s. Yeah. Black What's the car been? What kind of times? We've been 520s and outlay. Whoa! All right. We'll see. It's it a little go, more serious than the wagon. It's probably about 620s now. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll Everyone's see. going a little slower today. It's pretty hot. Yeah. But uh, We're we'll, going to just try to go A to B and see if it works. And he's going to run Junior Street in it, too. You are going to run this car, too. Yep. Nice. Yep. Yep. <laughs> What's the ET cap for that class? Uh, uh, nine -oh. What is it? 9 to the 8th mile. 9 0 and the 8th mile. Yep. Okay. That's going to yep. be. Really not, tough to dial back. Four we're seconds. Sure how we're gonna do that? <laughs> four seconds four, less. Four, yeah, four seconds less. Yeah. <laughs> I never thought of it that way. <laughs> we're in trouble. Good to think about now. You gotta yeah, run out yeah, in yeah. an hour or so. Good to see you guys here. Thanks, Kyle. Good luck. So this is your first here, quarter mile pass on this car, this right? This is it. First one. All right. right it's gonna be interesting to see. Let's see what we can do. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Here's Tom. First time out with the Fox body. Here's Jamie in the Integra. drive it has an iron block six liter engine and a 92 millimeter turbo in it this is the first race out with this car this car is five miles on it on this new build and he's currently chasing down some cooling issues with fuel and oil but he's here and he's determined to get this thing going so i'm excited to see what this thing will do now this is a really unique build Something extremely unique here at Race Week. First time here. Check out this Willys. It's a sand car. Let's get some more information about it. What are we working with here? This thing looks wicked. It's a 1954 Willys sand truck. Have you done some jumps with it yet, or is it yeah, I haven't not yet? It, no. You're gonna do drag racing before you go off-roading with yep. it. I love it. Baby steps. <laughs> <laughs> What's the power plant in here? I can see it's the engine. 454 LSX, uh, 6L90, so nine-inch Ford in the rear end. Dang. How much travel does the suspension have? It's uh, 24 inches in the front, 28 in the back. <laughs> have you had it on the drag strip? 
Never had it on the drag strip. What do you think? How much power does it make? Uh, 650. 650. Train, so. How much does it weigh? 3200. All right. I love this thing. What what else is cool about this? Obviously, it's got a whole custom chassis built into yeah, it. Yeah, it's cool. It's got a vintage air in it, so it got AC and heat and what? Uh, heated seats. So. Oh, you're gonna need that this week. Yeah. Heated seats. Yeah. These. Hold on. These are heated. Yeah. <laughs> That's freaking sweet. Does that have like GPS navigation yeah, stuff like that for yeah, the sand dunes? It does have does have that. So this was a SEMA truck, right? It was SEMA in 2018. Cool. You got your cooler built into the back. So you you drove this here from Colorado? Yep, drove it here. And you're gonna drive another thousand miles and then you're gonna drive it all the way back. So like that's, two thousand miles or so that's this week. <laughs> what a way to get to know this car. That's that's pretty sweet. Well maybe we'll hop in with you sometime this week. Cool, yeah. Or welcome. welcome. What was your name? Cody. Nice to meet you. Nice Good meet luck you. this week. Thank you. You're in for a treat. I have no idea what the hell this thing is, but I absolutely love it. And it can do a burnout. This thing, this thing just gets cooler and cooler. seconds for that big ass thing. Armstrong up next. Easily the quickest car for stick shift this year. We'll see if he can make it through the week. That's the tough part with these stick shift cars. I think the truck might be his next quickest competitor. See what it does first pass here. bad 956 first pass sun's gonna go down and that car is gonna go fast so we'll probably see an eight today here comes the carbon edition c6 z06 pretty rare package right there <laughs> If you guys remember the candy van from last year, they came back this year with something new. Let's go check this out. The chill trailer. Heck yeah. You want to give us a tour? You bet. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, you guys are cooking. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your breakfast. Good. Dang, look at this Come one. Come on in, guys. Come on in. Cool off. Woo! Ooh, this is sweet. Nice. <laughs> so we don't have nerd clusters, but we do have Otter Pops this year. Otter pop, oh, yeah. perfect. Oh, dude, these are fine. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Thank you. Oh, and it's hot. always hot on race week, it so, so oh, great place to hang out. Nice place to cool off. It'll it'll stay nice and cool in here. That's the money spot right there. Yeah, yeah. We got the fan. Well, we're gonna hang out for a little bit. Thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Oh yeah. Three air conditioners. We got one, two, three, and a fan. <laughs> the pictures on there? Yeah, it's All right, we got Cameron in his 740 Volvo. Last time we saw him, he was on sick week and he was running nines in this thing. Not a bad first pass. 
The Aussies are back. The Monaro HQ from Australia. These guys brought this car over here back in 2015 for drag week. And then they ran it for a few years here and then COVID happened and the car sat here for four years. They literally just got back here a week ago to race the skiing again and bring it to Rocky Mountain Race Week for the first time. If this car hooks up, you'll see the front end lift one corner or the other. It all, it's always wild to see it launch if it hooks up. It's been a little slick today, so we might not see that. Proper Aussie burnout. That's awesome. Yeah, it is. This thing's sweet. Is an old retired mail truck? Yes, sir. That's awesome. It's a 74 DJ5. Old yeah. retired mail truck. Oh, yeah. This is sweet. So it's got an LS with nitrous on it? Yes, sir. Nitrous outlet the system. Big ass Ram air intake. Poly high Ram with velocity stacks. Yeah. yeah. Have you ran it down the drag strip before? With the old setup, it ran 12 threes with a 383 stroke. Okay. So this is all new and it should, on motor, should run 1150s. So you're off to a good start. Are you going to be spraying it too? Uh, probably not this year okay. because I've been on a time crunch trying to get it ready to go. Ah, yes. And I have no tuning on the nitrous period. Very typical for race week. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> sir. Does it do wheelies? It does wheelies, yes. Yeah, sir. that's what I like to hear. I don't know how big of a wheelie this year. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we stand one up for you guys. Did, did the wing help you a lot or is this mainly just to look rowdy? My grandpa uh, found that wing in a field, made my grandma jump the fence to go pick it up. And really? It fit right on top of the Jeep. So did he own this before? Yeah, he owned it for 20 years and he passed away two years ago. So now I'm living his legacy. Interesting. Trying, trying I love to, that. Trying to race it and all that. Oh, awesome. Yeah. What are you hoping to run on race week? What's your goal? I want to just be 12 O's and just complete the event. Are you in that index class? Yeah, 12 O's. Yeah, this is my first ever drag and drive event ever. So as long as I complete it, I'll be happy. So my friend Cam right here, who's helped us at TX2K a lot of years, is joining us on race week this year in his brand new ZL1. Yes, Drove up from Houston to take along on race week and see what this thing's all about. You're in for an experience. I am, very excited. And it's your birthday next week. Yes, sir. So as a birthday present, we got you a racer entry to race week. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. So you get the full experience. Wow. Matt, right here. Thank you. No way. <laughs> Matt, this is Cam. Hi, Cameron. Tell you what you're doing? Yeah. All right. Um, as soon as I get a chance, I will come find you and we'll get you a tech card and all that good stuff and get you squared away. <laughs> wow, awesome. So you can go hit the track. Hell yeah, yeah. thank you so yeah. much. Cam's got the Camaro all stickered up. Got to add all the sponsor logos on here. You're entering 12-0 class? Yes, sir. This thing's supposed to run like a mid-11. So 
you're not gonna be able to get 11 0 out of it. So 12 0 should be doable. You just gotta sandbag just a little bit. Just here to have a good time. Perfect. Brought it up to Omaha a week ago. Had our friends at JS Detailing clear it all off, put PPF on it so it doesn't get messed up on race week because it's brand new. We'll see what this thing does this week. Off the line took lost a lot of ET on that one. He'll be back around. There's Trevor. He's here all the way from Canada, but he brought out his GTR again. Probably the fastest GTR on the property by a lot. This thing is nasty. I think it's a perfect time for a merch plug. Where'd you guys get these shirts at? Ordered them. Well, Cal, we uh, went to uh, 1320 website because you said to check them out. Perfect. And we're Our from new summer shirts. Oh, are yeah. you? Yeah. Nice. Perfect. Yeah. I love the more Nebraska merch, the better. Thank you guys. You bet. I appreciate it. You guys check out 1320video.com. Links in the description below. Get your own summer boost shirts. Those are our top sellers right now. We got some more fresh meat here at Rocky Mountain Race Week. This beautiful pickup. I've got to hear the story on this thing. Tell me what we're, what we're looking at here. This step yeah. side is absolutely C10. gorgeous. 66 yeah. C10. And it's got a big blower under the hood. Let's yeah, it's got an F2 Pro Charger. 418 Ooh. LS. Small block, big blower. Big blower. I understand it had an uh, old setup on it with a big block, right? It had a 565 in it before. You like this new setup? Yeah, it's more drivable for sure. It makes more power. Oh, it makes more power? Yeah. Awesome. So yeah. less cubes, more power. What did it make on the old setup? 770. What's it make now? 1200. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're going to have fun with this. We're going to sure try. We're going to take it easy though first. First so. race week with the truck. Yeah. Have you guys been on race week before? Not. No. Year. Welcome yeah. to the family. Thank you. You're going to love it. I, know. I, see, I see you're from Colorado, so we'll be yeah. spending plenty of time in Colorado the next few days. Yes, we will. <laughs> and so I understand this truck's been in the family for a while, right? Yeah, my dad bought it in 1977 and drove it to work every day yeah put a camper behind it <laughs> yeah me and my sister sat in the back you know back in the good days when you could sit in the back of the truck yep yeah it's good dang yeah so it's a completely different truck now yeah a lot has it always been red it was yellow yellow okay bright yellow like bright yellow all right bright, so yeah. now it's bright red bright red yeah big change came out sweet thank you what sure. class are you running this weekend pro street or this week yeah. pro street all right yeah it's going to be, need to be really fast to win Pro Street. Yeah, there's some fast but, guys. Yeah. Have you made a pass in it yet? I understand no, you just finished it up. No, no, no full passes yet. So first test passes on Rocky Mountain yeah. Race Week, and you have to drive a thousand miles in it. Yeah. How confident are you right now? It's going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. You, have you got some street miles on it? Yeah, about a hundred. That's the most. Okay, that's the most important thing. Yeah. Yo, drag, yeah. That's what we thought. The drag passes or whatever, it's but it's kind of hard to test in Colorado with all the rain. <laughs> you got some creature comforts in here? No, no comfort. I see a padding in your seat, so that helps. Oh yeah, we had some. Patty. Okay, so you got your air yeah. conditioner right here. Yeah, air conditioner. Uh, we got these new cup holders. Yeah, you do need cup holders yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Any headsets? Nope. Ooh. Oh, okay. You yeah. might you might be getting headsets soon here. <laughs> right. Is that a thing? Yeah, that's the cheat code here. Oh. It definitely helps. Yeah. So you can talk to each other. Yeah. Any yeah. guesses what it's going to run? I think we'll probably get a low low nine out of it right out of the gate. That's what did it do with the old setup? Uh, 953. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So just you just want to improve on that a little bit. I mean, we want to get into the you know, the eights, but it's got the power to do it. Yeah, we just gotta 
get confident with it. <laughs> Badass. Thank what you. a sweet truck. Thank you. I appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy your first race week. Thanks. It's uh, it's nice quite the experience. You, you too. Yeah. Good luck. Thanks. but they didn't know what to expect for the first pass of that truck, so I think they're gonna have to come back up and do a little bit of dialing on the tune and see if they can get it to make a clean pass, because that was not it. Here's my boy Donovan. He's got this crazy LS swap, SN95. Ooh, controversial plate. Anyway, this thing is sick. Jesus, dude, that car is so fast. I like this little thing, man. The wood grain, the spoke tires. It's got a nice, nice appearance. There's a lot of things that people prepare their car for for race week. There's one thing that stood out today that I had to check out here. Let's check out this light bar. This thing looks pretty serious. Have you hit a deer before? Is that why you... Uh... Well, no, but living in Nebraska, you know, there's yes. a lot of deer around here. My, I got 12,000 miles on this thing right now, so... Oh, damn. Yep, and, you know, we... We so do in those mountains in Colorado that. too. You gotta look out for Good call. you know the moose. <laughs> we'll follow you then. You're gonna yeah, light yeah. up the oh, whole yeah. I'm freaking a road. I'm the leader, so. I love it. So you were here last year, right? Yep, did the 10-0 class last year. Back in the 10-0, and we're gonna, you know, it's a new combo, but we're gonna get dialed in and you know have have some fun. Pretty serious so, car for 10-0 class. It is. It's a lot of car for the 10-0. I next year I'm going for 850. So. Oh no. Yep, it looks like a combo that could run 850s. Absolutely, yeah. We're on seven pounds doing 10-0 right now. What's the combo in it? Uh, it's a forged bottom end 408, uh, AFR, LS3 heads, good valves, and uh, CID intake. So Sweet. It's 4L80, circle D converter, and 9-inch fork. So and how many lumens of light do you have here? Oh, Over 9,000, right? Over 9,000. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. That'll do the job. Get side lights too. Yeah, I got the side. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Hopefully you guys have a good week this week. You're not going to be running into any rodents because you're going to see everything. You betcha. Badass. Well, thank you. Good luck this week, man. We've got this fourth gen Camaro right here. This is the one with the light bar on the front. Looks like he took it off for the race. But... Chevrolet. Next up we have our junior class. 13 to 16 year olds can run as quick as 9.0 or slower in the eighth mile. Something new they added two years ago and I'm glad they have again this year. Pretty awesome class. We're going to talk to some of the new racers that showed up here recently. 
<laughs> I was trying to make it wing. <laughs> That's great. How quick will this thing go in the eighth? Uh, like 12 is what we're hoping for. Perfect. Yep. So you got to get your dial in time today, right? Yep. And then yep. run as close as you can the rest of the week? Yeah. To that same time? Yeah. So what's your goal? Like a 12, 7. All right. We're, we're going to be slower in Denver. That's the number you got. You got to shift it, huh? Yep. Is this your first year doing race week? Yeah, this is first year doing race week. Awesome. We raced How old last are you? year. I'm fit 15. That's awesome. I love this class. Have fun, man. Ontario, come on down five and six. What's up? How's it going? This guy in the Miata said he's going to beat you guys. Uh, you going to take that from him? <laughs> is this your first year? Uh, first year rocking Is it? Awesome. How old are you? Uh, 14. 14? That's so cool. How quick are you going to go on the 8th mile, you think? Uh, I don't know. We're going to have to find out. You got any guesses? Uh, maybe 9-6. 9 six. Six. You can only go 9-0, right? Yeah. Yep. Cool. Well, good luck, man. The license plate zero power on that car. This is dirty. I apologize, guys. Uh. best part about that is you get to run again. You have to run again. Yeah. Yeah. That's not a bad deal. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to run. What's she run? I missed it. It's 12. All right, all right. Not 12, bad. 85. Not bad. Yep. And what were you guessing? 12. Nice. Yep. Still want to be a little slower. Yeah. Bandamere. Oh, that's true. Yep. The elevation's going to mess you up with the NA car. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So Blaine up here, I think he's probably 15 at this point. This car can run and eat pretty easily once it gets sorted out. Stick shift car, let's see what he runs. Dad in the passenger seat as all of them have to run with their, their parent. Coasting to a 914 after a 60 foot launch. <laughs> okay. All right, the 3200 mile Trans Am. What's your goal? What kind of time are you going to run? Uh, anything below 90. Slower than 90, that's your goal? Yeah. Will it go quicker than a 90? Probably not. I don't want to get this ball <laughs> <laughs> I just went 14 on the nose. 14 on the quarter? We'll see what she does in the eighth. Thirty-two hundred miles on this Turbo Trans Am, literally brand new. And he's out there, he's out there racing with his daughter, which is really cool. Gonna put a thousand miles on that car this week, almost doubling the amount of miles on this car this week. Let's see what it does in eighth mile. Ten one. Yep. Ten one at seventy four. Nice. That's a good starting point. We'll see what she does later. Good day. Nice run. So the juniors will be back up here for another pass here in a couple hours. We'll at least get two or three runs in a day. So the, after the first pass today, they have to turn in one of their time slips, and then they have to run as close as they can to that first time slip all week. So you have to choose very carefully. The Meltdown Firebird, last year's overall winner for quickest ET up here for his second pass of the day. Earlier, really greasy at the track. The sun's going down, the temperatures are going down. We should see a solid pass out of this car right now. The only car up here in a limited, I don't know if there's any other cars in the class, and as far as I can tell, the quickest car on the property, but we'll see after today where he's standing.
25 is a lot better than he did earlier today, but he is not going to be happy with that pass. We're going to cross our fingers. He gets one more pass in. We have another two and a half hours of racing to go, so he should have another pass. But if we have a couple oil downs, that might be it. That's not going to do it. No, she's not happy. Uh-oh. Not sure what's going on. Troubleshooting right now? Yeah, EGTs are through the roof, and it's got plenty of fuel. It shouldn't be. So, not sure what it is, if we got a timing issue or or what. The plugs look good and everything, so it was just really, really lazy. Weird. There was plenty of boost. It made like 27 pounds, so no it just didn't there. go. Just didn't go. Just, huh. Unless, unless we're just blowing through the converter, which is possible, but... Um, what are your be. options then? Um, we'll start making phone calls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Try to find a stator to, yeah. to get back home. <laughs> Dang. So, I don't know yet. Um, I'm not jumping to that yet, but yeah. uh, something's up. I'll let you get back to work. You, Appreciate it. You're racing the clock right now. Yes. We got the full-size stick shift pickup truck out here on race week. I understand you've changed everything in it? Uh, except the motor. <laughs> everything but the motor. Yeah. New what all's new for this year? New turbo kit, uh, new ECU, new clutch, new transmission, new rear suspension. Shh. Uh, about 400 more horsepower, about 400 pounds less really? than I used to be. So, And you and the green work truck were going back and forth for the quickest full-size stick shift, right? We were for a while, yeah. Um, I, I, I've heard that someone beat it, but I haven't seen proof that that's happened. I, you know, But I have full intentions of completely burying that what, micro record. Clearly, with everything here. that you've changed on this, you yeah. should be making some good progress here. But it is 100% untested. Really? Zero testing, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, that might come later in the week. You have seven days to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. By the end of the by the end of the event, it'll it'll probably be dialed in. I love it. So it's been nine seventy so far. Nine seventies was the fastest on the, the last setup, but I, you know, once again, changed everything. Yeah, a low nine by the end of the week. What's your goal? I want to see something with an eight in front of it. Really? Yeah. That would be awesome. I really want that. That was kind of the goal with it. Uh, if I can get everything figured out, it might be possible. I got the power to do it. I've got to you know make it work. Hell yeah. Second pass, first time down the track with a completely new setup. He's gonna have some data now. We'll see a nine second pass the next pass or two. By the end of the day, I bet. How was it? Uh, spin fest. I'm sure it felt completely different too. It felt way different, but uh, it just wasn't there on the line. We'll have to go back and look at the log and see what, uh, see what we can do. Cool. Gotta get that launch figured out on the slick track. Trash Panda Dodge Dakota coming up here. The Wilsons there, no strings in Rocky Mountain Race Week. Trevor used to have the love truck and wrecked that, and now he's got this truck. Been the best of a 930. Let's see what he runs tonight. He ran a high nine earlier. The car was cutting out. Hopefully, he'll run a new PB by the end of the weekend, but the sun's just going down now, so hopefully, he'll run a good pass here. Seven, I believe. Not gonna run that quick today. It's been a really hot, slick day. <laughs> I can hear you pulling up. It's a very distinct sound. Uh, <laughs> I think like somebody's out there in the field. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Lexus or something like that. Yeah. What and, uh, what car did that engine come from like uh, back in the day? Uh, old F-150. Okay. Yeah. What year? Uh, I think it was a 1968 or 69. Really? That old? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty crazy. What made you decide to put it in the wagon? Uh, well, I was in between motors. I'm still trying to put together my big block, you know, and then uh, I sold my small block and turbos to Gavin Lusk uh, to start my chassis business. So. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, so that money helped out. Yeah, so, I bet. Anyway, yeah, so I was like, man, I got nothing to do, and I literally like the the 306 cylinder in my daily driver because I boosted it back in 13. And so it's a 300 cubic inch motor? 300 cubic inch Ford, yeah. That's yeah. cool. So, and then, uh, so with that, you know, I was like, well, let's just put it in the wagon two weeks before last year's Rocky Mountain Waste Week. Yep. So here we are. I got an updated version of it. Hopefully, hopefully we'll make some good passes this awesome. week. I'm going to creep up with it. I've, it's all new and I'm I'm afraid, you know, to yeah. uh, turn it up too much. First. Yeah, you can't do that too fast. No. What are you hoping yeah. to run with it? Um, this should. From from my fuel numbers and everything, it should go uh, low nines with it eventually. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Yeah, a little for, for old school inline like six. That. Yeah, yeah. I just strengthened the block. I put sleeves in it, and then uh, uh, had Tom Molnar make some rods for it, and that's about it. The rest is stock. Slap a turbo on there. Yeah, slap a turbo on it makes a boost. Yeah. So and what year's the wagon? This is eighty. Fairmont wagon, yeah. This was the blue one from Drag Week. So, yep, yeah. I remember that. Hopefully we'll see a nine by the end of the week. Hopefully. Good okay. okay, thank you. Yep. But, uh, do Fred. problems though you know sorry Eddie yeah so this little opal is running the engine from his Pontiac Chieftain if you guys remember if you guys have been watching this for a while the first Rocky Mountain race week or second I forget which one the pink and white car him and his sons pulled the engine after blowing it up out in Great Bend Kansas it took them all night and they swapped it with a forklift and they got it in and they got the car to the next track the next day. And he put that engine in this Opal for this race. And I was just sitting there when he told me that, I was like, hmm, I don't know if this is good luck right here, but <laughs> it sucks to see. We'll have to see if Eddie's gonna try and fix it. But being the first track, it's a lot easier to call it quits here. So hopefully, both of the sons are racing here. So that is some motivation. We'll check in with him later and see what his plan is. Shake down. Just shake it down, make sure everything works. I guess that was what your plan was. Made yeah. a couple things, changes, but we're Wait. there where we need How'd to be. How'd it feel? Uh, it's fast. Is it? It's fast. Yeah, I forgot that was your first pass. 
gas in the car. Yeah. <laughs> with the stick so, shift. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see how things go. It should be much better. Yeah. It'll be much better. What's we'll your see. goal by the end of the week? 850. That'd be cool. 780. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it should go. What's your quickest in the wagon? 10007. <laughs> we just went 10008. Oh, no way. Serious? Hey. I got this slip. I'm like, are you kidding me? That's really? pretty cool, actually. I like that. Yep. All right. Yep. Something in the nines. We'll see what we can do in the nines. nines. That's what we're trying for. Yeah, good luck. Like. I liked your I liked your coasting to a nine. That was nice. Dude, it went 146 to the 60. Oh my God! As fast as he went. Oh wow! Yeah, it was. <laughs> Holy crap! That was a ride. That's wild. Attention in the pit. The second pass ever on that box body for Tom. He's gonna be very happy. So and close to eight. Maybe in, next pass. To tonight we're gonna get another pass. We're gonna do that, we man. might They're see an eight up. tonight. See how greedy he gets. You made that look easy. Yeah! <laughs> how about that? First yes. nine. Yes. There's a whole lot more there because it, it uh, I'm not a very good driver. <laughs> so we had to I, I like well, I don't know what I did when I shipped out. Look at the data, but yeah, uh, light came on and I just kind of lifted and pulled it. And all right, that's good. Roll back in it again and lifted and pushed it. Went again. Like we should be pulling this thing. What are we doing here? Yeah. So bam, high gear, and then it started covering the really ground. Really like, boost came. Yeah. Yeah. So that boost kicks in like crazy up top. It's good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So that was probably 14 pounds. I'm sure in your wagon you can remember everything, but in a completely different car, it's, it's all totally new. Totally different. Yep. This should put us in front. Yeah, I think so. Bill just yeah. ran a 960. 66, is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah. So, cool. I don't know. Be my main man. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. back on. Hell yeah. His first pass today, he didn't have the light bar on. I was kind of disappointed. I like his strategy. Maybe this will help him run the number he wants. Okay, a little so, quicker. A little bit, yeah, 10-0 though. So. Oh, he's trying to go for 10-0s? Yeah. So he put the light bar on to slow him down. Yeah, actually, ah, dang. If you guys watched Rocky Mountain Race Week two years ago, you remember the Malaboom was on the lift pretty much all day, like the fourth race day. And here we are again. I can see what's happening here. Same as last time, transmission issues. Let's go find out what's going on. Excuse me, sir, no hogging the lift, please. You know, it's my home away from home. When I come to the event, <laughs> I got to be on the lift. You got to be working. Portable car hoist is a lifesaver. Oh, yeah. Um, my transmission that we were putting together went through some issues with the parts and all this stuff like everybody else. 
last minute it basically got done on the other side of the country. So my boys here from Lord were uh, cool enough to lend me that transmission and it lasted one pass. So I roached the pump when I pulled the converter out it welded the, one of the bushings, the pump bushing uh, to it. So I cut it off, we emery clocked the crap out of it, emptied all the ugly. And then this is the borrowed, borrowed transmission. Oh my gosh. But this one's stock, so I got a baby in. And I redid this whole thing, because we came in 21, and I struggled on the drive. And I was like, you know what, if I can't do the drive, I'm never going to be any good on the event. You can't yeah. win, you can't do anything. Exactly. So I was like, I just want to do the drive. I'm not trying to be a hero. We made the softest pass this car's made in years. <laughs> and then, Oh that, no. It was Yeah, it was just terrible leisure. And I, I was like, I just want to go down Broadway, get the jitters out, get a slip. And yeah. And you did that. But I turned it in, so we're still good. Oh, perfect. And it got to be really easy on this one. I'm going to say lots of nice things. I'm going to write with a Sharpie. Beat it up. I don't care. Yeah. So we'll get it We'll get it put together. And if we can make the drive, I think we should be good. All right, get her back together and we will. I'll keep see, this thing together. I'll see you on the road. All right. Bill Armstrong, stick shift badass. He's been in the mid eights with this car. The truck over here is hoping to run in the eights as well, and you got to survive the thousand plus mile drive. Light from the Integra. Had a PFI. What either of them want. They will be back. The launch was not great for I either of them. Jamie! What's up? Not much, hanging out. What do you do first pass? Um, so we put a new front end on the car so it's too low. Oh. So it's staged on the bumper. And then when I tried to get into the tire, it red lit me. Okay, so nothing. So, nothing. Alright, what's your goal? Um go faster than a 1050. Okay. We kind of only touch this car once a year. It sits in my backyard until race week every year. <laughs> so as long as it's about there, it's pretty consistent. So we'd like to see a 10-0, but it hasn't done that in like four years. <laughs> it's getting a little worn out. Gotta line everything up. Yeah. Well, hopefully we'll see her somewhere in the 10s. Yeah. Good luck. That'd be great. Thanks, man. EFI speed in the house. I saw Brent back here somewhere. The boys are hanging out with us this week. We'll be playing with them plenty. Talking to them a little later. another pass. I just realized this car will have close to 10,000 miles on it in just the three weeks he's been away from home in this thing. Cam on his Rocky Mountain race week, first day week. Anything of a 12 is going to make Cam happy. It's an 11.5. 
11.98 for Kim. That's too fast. Brandon Connington in the left lane. Did that feel good? Come again. Connington You're really close. Actually painted the hole. Too fast, Cam. That cross car. Hello? So, you know, he's been around for a while. What do I do? Well, hopefully there'll be time for you to make another oh, pass. Good, though. Huh? That is good shit, man. I mean, you're Did really close. Yeah. Look better. That's okay. way better. Nice work, man. Thank you. This might be my favorite thing here. how that sounds. Here watching the races had a set of 317 heads. Oh no, wait, one of the locals? Yeah, so it's 100 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Best case scenario. Yeah, yeah I that's think amazing. I think all we need right now is some copper coat. Are you gonna replace both of them or? Yeah. Well, I'm sure we won't see you tomorrow. We'll see you at Bandamere though. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow's a drive day, right? Yep. Yeah. We might see you, who knows? Yeah, yeah. Good luck, Eddie. We can always sleep right there now. Yeah, exactly. I love it. <laughs> Thanks, Brady Davis over here had a 
uh, 5.3 rod piston motor. So Spare engine with them? Yeah, so we, we bought it from him and uh, we're gonna go ahead and Perfect. put it in and try it out. He brought spare parts just for you? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> what happens if his engine blows? I, I owe He'll him, find the next guy. I owe him quite a bit of money. <laughs> Did you get a full pass? Uh, personal best actually went 8.2 at oh. 168. So. We're late in the class, I think. So you're feeling really good. You got some good motivation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Literally just thinking there hasn't been that much carnage at Rocky Mountain Race Week, and then I drive past this, I'm like, oh, <laughs> I have a look close enough. The Bernaro HQ is going up against Trevor here. They both want 850s. It'd be cool to see if He did not get the pass he wanted. I can tell he used his fast pass to get the line pass because he was in the outside lane. Let's see if he can run an 850 on this one. Ow! Yeah, that thing kicks up so many rocks! He doesn't have any more. You only get one of them, but it worked for him. The thrashes have already begun. Donovan's getting a short block in right now. Eddie's putting his heads back on. They'll be on the road in the morning. We've got a 400-mile drive tomorrow, and we're going to take you guys along with us. So hit that subscribe button so you get updates from tomorrow and the next five days after that. They're racing at Bandamere in two days. You do not want to miss that. We'll see you guys next time.